this morning I want to talk about I want to discuss how to how to show you how to download UTF camera either for Windows or for iOS distribution. Okay, without further ado, let's go there. You know, all you need to do is on your on your browser, just type download UTF camera and let's search that. So the first one you see is download UTF camera, click on it, then bring it to this web page. So on this page, we have different distribution. We have 64 bytes. So if your system is 64 bytes, then you download from here. We also have 30, 32 bytes. So you have to know which was your system computer's byte. So if your computer's byte is 64, so you download 64. For my computer here, I'm using 64 bytes. And this is window. So this is Windows distribution. So if you're using MacBook, which is 64 byte, you click on this. If you're using Linux, for example, Ubuntu, you use this. So for my for this for this laptop, I'm using Windows 64 byte. So you click on this and automatically download. It brings you to this page. And we ask you to accept. You accept and it says thank you for choosing. So it's automatically download. So allow it to download. Once the downloading complete. Okay, that's good. Okay, downloading download is complete. So let's open. Just click open. And says just do you want do you want to allow this app from unknown to know? You say yes for window distribution. Yes. Next. Accept the agreement and click next. So it's going to save in drive C. So if you want to change location, you click on this and you change location. But for this, I'm not changing location. So next. So next. So create a desktop icon. So if you want to have a desktop icon on your desktop, so you click, you take this, click next. So next. And the installation continues. So this takes probably like a few minutes. So it continues and you have to wait for the program to, for all the files to be extracted. So all the files are being extracted now. This is going to finish in a couple of minutes. So you have to wait, don't press anything like this file extraction finish. You know, that, that has to be completed before we take the next action. So don't forget, let me just don't forget by the time you go to download, you go you make sure you choose which byte is suitable for your for your for your for your computer. If you are using 62 bytes, 64 bytes, you go to 64 bytes and you choose whether you are working on Linux, you're working on and Windows uh, lap, laptop, or you're working on iOS, that's I, iPad, or an, a MacBook, and the rest. So once you do that, then you choose which which one is, is compatible with your with your computer. And once that is choose, you know, if you download and you click, you double click on the download and executable executable file for the download. And it continues. So the extraction is almost done. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, once well, this is finished, so let's click, click, let's click on start camera, click on finish. So this program we have to you know this is the programming file for chimera so this automatically is you now being stored on your laptop because you're opening camera for the first time so you have to wait for this process to complete and the camera we're using is camera 1.6 1.16 rather so you have to wait for this to complete this is a python programming so you have to wait for it to complete Okay, that's complete. And automatically your camera opens. Now, if you look at this, because I've worked on camera in the past, that's why I'm having this at the 
the work I've done on Chimera in the past. So for you that you are just installing Chimera for the first time, this place is going to be, is going to be empty. It's going to be empty. That's we successfully installed Chimera on our laptop. So that's the process. 